It's a sad truth of nature that many brilliant, beautiful, and wonderful animal species sadly go extinct. Sometimes naturally, but often because of the actions of us humans. But what if we were to tell you that some extinct animals might actually still be out there? Would that be a mood boost? These are extinct animals that may still be alive. Number 15. Elephant Shrew the elephant shrew, also known as the jumping shrew or sengi, is undoubtedly one of nature's most unique creations. But while many experts had concluded that the little guy was long gone, it turns out that they were totally wrong. It's just, you know, so tiny we didn't see it. Talk about irony. The elephant shrew is, obviously, a pretty tiny animal, named because of the resemblance between their long nose and the trunk of an elephant. But what's perhaps most most interesting is that upon closer genetic inspection, the elephant shrew is more closely related to the elephant than a shrew. So I guess you can take your irony and uh, do something else with it. Since 1968, the Somali elephant shrew had been believed to be extinct. with no reported sightings for what seemed like unending decades. Then in 2020, a miracle occurred. Scientists in Djibouti happened to rediscover the Somali elephant shrew, effectively confirming that the species did not die out. They were just, uh, shall we say, in hiding. Which is obviously code for we didn't know where to look. It's an exceptionally tiny animal. Hey, David Attenborough isn't going to tell you when he misplaces a shrew but I'm 66% confident he has done that. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Fans of the X-Men comics may be aware of the Savage Land. In the comics, this is a place on Earth where dinosaurs still exist. It's a fun story, but what if we were to tell you there's a chance something akin to the Savage Land might be out there in the real world? That's right, dinosaurs might not be as extinct as you think. This photo is one of many that has surfaced online, presumably proving dinosaurs still exist. As you can see, what looks like a T-Rex seems to be sealed in a block of ice. If thought out, would it still be alive, Captain America style? If so, that would be pretty terrifying. The person who posted this image online insists they were part of an expedition and were terrified when they saw this. But if few people are calling it out as a photoshop. What do you think? Real or fake? And regardless, are dinosaurs still out there? And if frozen, should they be thawed out? Let us know! As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 14. Kashmir Musk Deer you're probably going to start seeing a pattern throughout this video, which can be summed up as tiny animals getting misplaced. That's, again, what happened with the Kashmir musk deer, one of the world's smallest deer. But this time the experts had credible reason to assume it had gone extinct. The Kashmir musk deer is native to Afghanistan, India, and Pakistan, but for decades it seemingly vanished. According to reports, one of the last sightings of the Kashmir musk deer was in 1948. As the decades passed, there were no official reports of this animal being seen, with many experts chalking it up to the effects of hunting and habitat loss. But while those things are certainly problems for the deer, that's not what actually happened. In 2009, a survey in the province of Nuristan, Afghanistan, managed to find three live Kashmir musk deer, confirming that they did somehow manage to survive. They are, of course, incredibly endangered, but then everybody on Earth is endangered. Part of the problem for animal experts now is how to locate and manage the Kashmir musk deer. This animal has a fragmented habitat, meaning that they're found all over the place. It's really only a matter of time before before they vanish again. Might want to give them a GPS or something. Number 13. Night Parrot 
We've talked at some length on this channel about the nature of Australian animals. By that, I obviously am referring to the fact that just about every single animal in the country has some kind of desire to kill ya. That isn't the case with the night parrot, but probably only because, well, very few people have ever seen it. The night parrot is considered one of the most elusive birds on the planet, a reputation it earned when it mysteriously vanished after 1912. For decades, there were no confirmed sightings of the bird, leading experts to conclude that it was likely extinct. But as you've already guessed by looking at the title of this video, you know, watching it, that was slightly inaccurate. In 1979, the animal was rediscovered, with science finally confirming that the animal was not extinct, but critically endangered. Since 1979, sightings have been pretty rare, with some experts estimating that there are somewhere between 50 and 249 adult individuals left in the world. But hey, at least we know that the worst has not come to pass, there isn't an angry killer parrot operating after dark, and the night parrot gets to live another day. I mean night. Sorry, force a habit. Number 12. Goblin Shark There are many types of sharks in the world, many of which you've probably never heard of or even seen. But the goblin shark is one example of an animal you should be grateful for not having seen, because the thing is freaking weird. The goblin shark has been called a living fossil due to its freaky appearance and the fact that it dates back some 125 million years. These sharks tend to live at depths of over 330 feet, with adults found far deeper than the youth. In fact, some scientists believe that the goblin shark is capable of diving up to 4,270 feet for a short time. So it's probably not a surprise to anybody that so many people thought this thing was extinct. But the truth is that it's just an extremely rare animal that lives in an area of the ocean that no human could ever consider approaching. And honestly, after seeing it, would you want to go near it? The goblin shark is pure nightmare fuel, but the IUCN considers it of least concern. Apparently, living in a part of the ocean that no human would dare venture into is kind of a gift. You never have to worry about your life, just, you know, don't look at your reflection. Number 11. New Guinea Singing Dog Yes, dogs can sing now. It's the 21st century, my friend. Get with the times. The New Guinea Singing Dog is an ancient lineage native to, uh, well, take a guess. It's probably not going to be Indianapolis, is it? Yeah, you guessed it. It's New Guinea. This dog is most well known for its unique vocalization and beautiful singing voice. But there's very little known about its life in the wild. In fact, after decades among the local population of New Guinea, this dog mysteriously disappeared entirely by the 1970s. Seemingly overnight, the singing dog was absolutely nowhere to be seen, to the disappointment of the curious visitors who stopped through hoping to see one in person. In August 2012, a local photographer happened to spot one of these singing dogs in the wild, and the photo quickly went viral. Experts were forced to reassess their conclusions, determining that yes, the singing dogs were still around, they were just you know, very quiet. Some remain highly skeptical that the singing dog has made a return, claiming that the photos could easily just be of local dogs, which is a fair criticism, but also the kind of logic that could be applied to literally anything. That might not be Big Bird, it could just be a very large man in a boiler suit. See? Easy. Number 10. Tree Lobster you may have heard of a red lobster, you may have heard of a rock lobster, but I bet you haven't really heard of the tree lobster, right? Well, don't worry my friends, because we're about to educate you in the world of extremely niche stick insects. What a fun time for you! The tree lobster is actually the Lord Howe Island stick insect which is a much less catchy name. Their bodies generally tend to grow up to 6 inches long, and they're surprisingly strong. And did I mention they were extinct? 
No, uh, probably because they weren't. Of course, experts didn't know that, because when you're dealing with stick insects, it's pretty hard to tell where they are at any given time. In 1983, the tree lobster was officially classified as extinct, the result of a gradual decline in population since 1918. But in 2001, a group of researchers headed for a small volcanic rock island named Ball's Pyramid, and there they found a few living individuals that confirmed the tree lobster never actually died at all. It just went into a pretty extreme game of hide-and-seek, and one apparently, which honestly is the kind of life skill I tend to admire. Number 9. Pygmy Tarsier whether you find the pygmy tarsier cute or terrifying is probably going to vary from person to person. But regardless of how you may feel about it, there's no denying that it is a uniquely looking animal. But are they extinct? I think you already know the answer by now. The pygmy tarsier is a nocturnal primate that lives in Sulawesi, Indonesia. Or at least it did. In the early 20th century, the scientific community had pretty much concluded that the pygmy tarsier was no more. After a series of expeditions turned out to be pretty fruitless, it was officially announced that the pygmy tarsier was extinct. So imagine the surprise when Indonesian scientists accidentally killed one in 2000 when trapping rats. You finally rediscover an extinct animal and you just accidentally killed it. Now that is truly bad luck. Thankfully, that wasn't the end for the pygmy tarsier. In August 2008, a research team from Texas A&M University headed to Sulawesi to find more specimens, and surprisingly they did. In fact, they found two males and a single female, the first pygmy tarsiers seen alive since the 1920s. And miraculously, none of them accidentally got killed, which is kind of a miracle in itself if you think about it. Number 8. Arachin Forest Turtle You'd think that an animal capable of living in more than one habitat would be able to avoid extinction for quite a while. And that's probably true, but scientists and animal experts had long assumed that the Arachin Forest Turtle was totally gone. Despite that genetic gift, the Arachin Forest Turtle is a nocturnal turtle species native to western Myanmar. And it's what is known as a semi-terrestrial turtle. That really just means that it can survive in both aquatic and terrestrial habitats, giving it something of an advantage over other species. However, as I mentioned, that didn't really help. When the Arachin forest turtle suddenly disappeared, scientists jumped to the most rational explanation. It was extinct. But it wasn't. In fact, the turtle was just being illegally trafficked, making it very difficult for scientists or other animal experts to find any specimens. To find any specimens whatsoever. That all changed in 2009 when a scientific team managed to find a group of turtles hidden in the Rakhine Yoma Elephant Range in Myanmar. Suddenly, this long presumed extinct species came roaring back to life. I mean, it's not a total miracle. They're still critically endangered, but it's nice to know they're not totally gone, right? Number 7. Chacon Passeri if you base your animal knowledge on the movie The Lion King, the Chacon Passeri may not be what you're expecting. Well, it's kind of like Pumbaa, I guess, but, uh, well, it's an interesting animal. Yeah, that seems like a nice way to put it. The fact that the Chacon Passeri is the closest living relative to the extinct genus Platygonus, which is a much more relevant fact than you may be thinking. You see, when this animal was first described in 1930, it was described based entirely on its fossils. Because there was no living specimen found, the scientific community just assumed that it was totally extinct. But you and I know better than the science of the 1930s. Well, 
everybody knows better than the science of the 1930s. By 1971, the animal was rediscovered alive and well in the Chaco region of Argentina. And perhaps most intriguingly of all, it was well known to the local people. But not scientists. The Chacon Passeri's rediscovery was a game changer for animal experts who had concluded the species was long gone. Today they're endangered with just 3,000 still alive. And sadly, it seems humans are the biggest reason for that dwindling number. As soon as humans find them, the species pretty much seems to vanish. I wonder what the connection is here. Number 6. Colacanth Honestly, an argument could be made that any animal called a living fossil was, at some point, presumed to be extinct, even if that was not actually the case. The colacanth is yet another living fossil that many assumed were pretty much dead. Well, guess what, science? You're wrong! The colacanth is a rare order of fish, usually found off the coast of Africa and Indonesia. Perhaps most interestingly of all, their genetics put them closer to reptiles, birds, and mammals than fish. So, there's an unexpected bit of trivia for ya. Because of their ancient lineage, scientists assumed that the colacanth was extinct sometime in the late Cretaceous period. some 66 million years ago. But in 1938, a group of explorers happened to rediscover the species off the coast of South Africa, proving that, once again, when you assume you just make an ass, um, ass, assumption, yes. The colacanth was, for a period, known as a living fossil because scientists believed it was the sole remaining member of something called a taxon. That's not true. More recent studies have shown that this species is much more diverse than previously thought, making it a unique species in its own right. So, you know, deal with it, science. Number 5. The Galapagos Giant Turtle even if you don't know a whole lot about animals in the Galapagos, there's a good chance you'll know about the Galapagos giant tortoise. It is, after all, the largest living species of tortoise, and that's not an understatement. Once you see one of these things, you'll wonder how the heck it could possibly have been thought extinct. At their biggest, the Galapagos tortoise can weigh up to 919 pounds, and with a lifespan of over 100 years, they're among the longest living vertebrates in the world. So how were they believed to go extinct? Surely you can't miss them at that size, right? Well, the reason is simply because of the dwindling population numbers. In the 16th century, reports claim that there were over 250,000 tortoises in the world. That number fell to a low of around 3,000 in the 1970s, thanks to an overexploitation of the species for numerous reasons and the introduction of non-native animals to the islands. As a result, it was long assumed that the species was extinct. And to be fair to those who believed this, some species of Galapagos tortoise are, indeed, extinct. But today, there are still many species of Galapagos tortoise roaming free on the islands. They're endangered, but they're not going anywhere willingly, mostly because they're, you know, huge. Number 4. A Mer Leopard Okay, this is an example of an animal whose supposed extinction makes sense. When you're chasing one of the rarest cats on Earth and you can't find them, it kind of makes sense to assume that maybe, just maybe, they no longer exist. Only in the case of the Amur leopard, they definitely did. The Amur leopard is an incredibly rare species, long considered one of the rarest cats in the world. At one time, the Amur leopard could be found all over Asia, from Japan to Korea and mostly in China. But over the decades, that changed, with many leopards killed during the Japanese occupation of Korea between 1910 and 1945. The local population of Amur leopards were pretty much wiped out. The last leopard was captured in 1970, and they've been extinct in Korea ever since. So it makes sense that experts would assume that the species as a whole was extinct, but it's not accurate. In fact, in the past couple of decades, those same experts have concluded that these very rare leopards simply moved to a much smaller locale. 
only small and isolated populations can now be found in China, and they're not easy to find. But when you're the rarest cat in the world, you tend to get pretty good at hide and seek. Number 3. Spix's Macaw the Spix's macaw is a lot more than a beautiful bird with an amusing name. It's also a pretty big mystery that nobody can answer. Where has it gone? Well, that's the biggest question of all, and one that we're going to have to try and figure out right now. First described by German naturalist Jörg Markgrave in 1638, the Spix's macaw is a native bird to Brazil and an incredibly rare bird in itself. Because of growing deforestation throughout the 20th century, Century, the bird became incredibly rare to find in the wild. Something that has sadly only grown more prevalent. After a 2000 sighting of one specimen, there were no further reports until 2016. That total lack of sightings has led the IUCN to claim that the Spix's macaw is totally extinct in the wild and has encouraged some conservationists to try and protect them in captivity. Today, it's totally illegal to trade the Spix's macaw, with specific exemptions for conservation, scientific, or educational purposes. Clearly, the Brazilian government learned a valuable lesson and is unwilling to lose such a great and beautiful animal more than once, which in this situation is probably the best lesson you could possibly learn. Number 2. Scimitar Oryx Talk about a dang cool name, right? But hey, the Scimitar Oryx is a lot more than just a cool name, it's also a dang cool animal. I mean, look at those huge horns and tell me that it's not one of the most badass things you've ever seen. At one time, the Scimitar Oryx could be found all over North America. Sadly, those days seem to have long gone. In 2000, the Scimitar Oryx was officially declared extinct in the wild, making it totally impossible for anyone to stumble upon one of these magnificent animals. But our world is unpredictable, and it didn't take too long before these guys were back on the map. It took 16 years, in fact. A group of scimitar oryx was released into an enclosure in a Chad animal reserve before being reintroduced back into the wild, so while their population may not be anywhere near as large as some other animals, it's a start. It's unquestionably a good thing that the scimitar oryx has been brought back from the brink of extinction. Now we can all enjoy looking at the sight of those magnificent horns and thinking, yep, that's, uh, that's not an animal that will be going through through any doors. Oh, uh, just me? Eh, good to know. Number 1. Marine Iguana Did you know that there was an iguana who actually thrives under the water? I certainly didn't think so, but then I didn't become a voiceover artiste. To know niche trivia about reptiles, the marine iguana is actually only found on the Galapagos Islands, meaning you'll probably never see one. Yeah, sorry about that. The marine iguana is an incredibly unique animal, one of the only modern lizards that can forage in the sea for algae, which actually makes up almost all of the animal's diet. Because this unique looking lizard tends to live below the surface of the water, it's easy to understand why so many people believed that it was extinct. They just couldn't see the thing. But as it turns out, the marine iguana is not extinct, they just have an extremely small population and are considered vulnerable or endangered by the IUCN. Either way, they're not having the greatest of times. The marine iguana is totally protected under Ecuadorian law in the hopes that this will somehow be able to protect the species from extinction. After all, if an animal believed to be extinct shows up again, the last thing you want is to just throw them away, where one nuclear disaster away from this thing becoming Godzilla. Have you ever seen one of these once extinct animals in person? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.